Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? Cameron Stewart calling in here from the uh, car park here at uh, Newmarket City Fitness. Um, I'm uh, about to head in for a bit of a session shortly. Um, and I uh, just wanted to do a bit of a video. I hadn't, I've been a bit uh, quiet on the videos lately. I've been very, very busy doing what I'm doing and um, have a lot of exciting stuff going on. But just wanted to get on here. And, you know, I hear all the time from people um, talking about, G'day, Danielle, how are you? Um, I, I hear people say, oh, look, I need to get motivated. You know, I need to get motivated or, um, you know, I'm going to go to this seminar, this Tony Robbins seminar, and get pumped up and motivated so I can go out there and, and uh, create success or whatever the case may be. And motivation comes from within. It comes from having a goal or purpose or um, objective in life that you really, really, really want to achieve. Um, I don't think motivation is, you know, as, as having uh, high energy levels or anything like that, it comes down to what it is that you want out of, your, out of your life, what is it that you're chasing, what's your purpose, what's your dream, what's your goal, um, that's where motivation comes from and I see it all the time, so many people come into an environment that's actually conducive for growth, an, uh, an environment that can actually help them move forward in life. But they don't stick with the environment or they don't stick with the program because they don't know why they're doing what they're doing. And see, motivation is driven by having that goal or that or having that objective that's a burning desire. I look at myself over the years, and I'll use, use a little example that I've done recently. Um, I've always gone to the gym for a, for a number of years, and uh, I've always been relatively fit to a degree, but I always self-sabotage by eating bad food. I'd go to the gym, and then I'd go and get a McDonald's burger or something like that, and I just wasn't looking after myself from an eating perspective. And as far as having a goal in regards to that, um, I never ever actually broke down a goal or something I wanted to achieve in, in regards to my health. Now, over the last couple of months, I have written down a goal or an objective that I wanted to achieve. I was 111 kilos, now I'm down to 100. So I set myself a target of getting down to 100 kilo. I've done that. Um, and that was because I wrote down that goal and that objective that I wanted to achieve. And what I'm seeing and what I see with most people today is they start things and they never finish because they don't know why they they got involved they don't know why they started what they were doing you know like i have a lot of my clients in, in regards to property investment um i sit down with them and i i say okay why is it that you'd like to get involved in property investment because it's not a get rich quick scheme it takes a lot of work there's a lot of stress associated with that so before they actually go into actually um, going down that path of investing i always say well why do you want to get involved See, most people just think it's a good idea, so they'll start something because it's a good idea. They'll get involved in investing because they think it's a good idea because every man and his dog's doing it, but they don't understand why they're doing it. And the key is to get motivated to go out there and get results in life. You, first and foremost, you need to understand why is it that you're doing what you're doing? Why have you gotten involved in a business? Why are you looking to invest? Why are you looking to get fit at the gym? What's your objective? What's your goal? See, most people don't actually have any written goals. They don't have anything down on paper that they can visually see, and hence they don't actually ever get a result. As eerie, fairy as it may sound, if you don't have your goals and dreams written down on paper and you don't read them to yourself at least once a day, I can assure you that you won't achieve them. And a lot of you will be saying, well, I've got them in my head. Nah, that doesn't work. You've got to get it out on paper. You've got to, you've got to read. You've got to get it out of your head onto paper. You've got to plan it. You've got, okay, you've got a goal, an objective that you want to achieve. How am I going to do that? What's my plan of getting that? See, motivation is driven by your goal or dream. It's not driven by reading a book. It's not driven by going to a seminar. See, why you would go to a seminar or why you would read a book or why you would get coaching or whatever the case may be is because you've got a reason to do that. See, what happens with most people is they start something, as soon as things, as things get tough, they, they, they forget why they're actually doing what they're doing and they quit. But if they just went back to their goal or their objective or whatever it is that they're trying to achieve, they'll get the motivation back, they'll get that energy back, they'll get excited. Because I look at myself over the years, look, I'm, I'm no big hitter, I haven't, I haven't arrived by any stretch of the imagination. I do these videos, for those of you that don't know me, is, is to grow myself, to help myself, and also help others. Because that's my passion in life, is actually to help other people, you know, achieve more, get better results. Because life's a struggle. 
See, life's a struggle. Most people are struggling and they're living in pain. You know, they're living in, 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 on Struggle Street. They've got all the stuff going on in their mind and they never take any action because, see, for example, a lot of people are scared to write down their goals and dreams. Why do you think that is? It's because they're scared if they write them down and they don't achieve them, well, they're going to be hard on themselves. They're going to be down on, down on their luck. See, if you never write them down and if you never put a plan in place to go out there and get those results, well, it's never going to happen, is it? So what I would suggest you, to those of you that are watching this video right now, um, if you've got goals or aspirations and things that you want to achieve, put a plan in place. Write down what it is. Find someone that can give you the guidance and the help to actually go out there and get the job done. And be consistent. You yes, so many people are so inconsistent, and I'll use myself as an example again. I've been training so hard at the gym for such a long time, and I wasn't getting the results that I wanted. And it's because my diet was crap. I was eating rubbish food. I, I didn't actually have a goal in place in regards to my health and fitness. Hence, I wasn't getting the results that I was looking for. Now, since I put that plan in place, you know, a couple of months ago, or six weeks ago, now I've lost 10 kilos, nearly 11 kilos. Well, I have lost 11 kilos, and that was just because I wrote down a goal, I set down a goal that I wanted to get to 100 kilos, now my objective is to get down to 95, and get fit, get my cardiovascular fitness up, like get healthy, because for years and years and years I abused my body, just getting pissed all the time, you know, doing all the illegal stuff that we did, I, I did all of that stuff, but where did it get me, it just made me look at, like a slob. You know, and see the thing is if you're not motivated, you've got to find the motivation when you've got a goal. See, motivation is driven by your goal, your dream, your objective. So I hope that helps someone out there today. Having a dream, having a goal, having an objective in life is absolutely vital if you want to create success. Stop looking at what everyone else is doing. Start focusing on what you can do because you cannot control anyone else's actions. You can only control your own. I wish you all the very best. I hope you're having an awesome Tuesday. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty balmy sort of day here in New Zealand. Uh, spring is definitely here. The daffodils are out. The sun's shining. Life's fantastic. Go out there, chase your dreams, get the job done, and we'll see you at the top. I'm Cameron Stewart. See you next time.